Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the class. Well in our previous classes we have been doing a lot of things. We have done verbs in plain form and a lot of other uh, information I have given you about festivals in Japan, about a lot of other forms in verbs. So well today also we will continue in this class with verb forms. So. First and foremost, we will do our uh, assignments. So, the first assignment that I gave you was match group A with group B and make good sentences. So, these sentences are all jumbled up and you are to make proper sentences. Well, the first one is Anata no krasu ni nan nin imasu ka? Hiru gohan wa doko de tabemashou? Doko de place de something o shimas. Tanaka san wa rainen kekkon shimas a statement and Tanaka san wa rainen kekkon shimas ka is a question you can ask. Deri de nani o kaimas ka? Deri de place de nani o kaimas ka? Sensei no kogi ga hajimarimashita. Ga over here is for emphasis. It is a statement. Anata no machi wa donna machi desu ka? Donna a question word which means which type of. Watashi no uchi wa okikute benri desu. So, when you join I adjectives with na adjectives, the first adjective will change, the I adjective will change to kute plus benri. Kono mondai wa kantan desu or kono mondai wa kantan na mondai desu. The moment you use na, the noun is going to follow. Ano akai tatemono wa nan desu ka? Ano over here is because you are pointing at the tatemono and the subject is known to the speaker and the listener both. Otaku kara kaisha made dono gurai kakarimasu ka? Approximately how much? So, well this was your first assignment. I hope you did it correctly. Well the second one is match kanji in group A with kanji readings in group B. Well this is your kanji section. You can see each character will have minimum two readings, one the Chinese and one the Japanese reading. Then choose the most appropriate word from the brackets. Well, I hope you did your kanji section properly. Well, in our previous classes we have done verbs in plain form. So well, today also we will continue in this class with verb forms. We have done dictionary form of the verb, plain dictionary form of the verb. We have done negative form of the verb in mass form. We have done past plain form of the verb. So, now today the negative mass end form we will do in plain form. Well, how it is made, how you will say it, how you will use it, I am going to do it here in class with you. Why we have to do this is very important because to be able to speak better Japanese, to be able to make difficult construction, to be able to say a lot of things that you would want to say actually in Japanese can be done by using this plain form of verbs. I told you earlier also that we use masen, mas, mashita, masen deshita, which is the mas form in the end. So, to use verbs in between sentences, to join sentences, we require these plain forms. 
Thus, we will do these plane forms in our classes regularly and practice as well. So, the first one over here is ikimasen, ikanai. You could repeat after me and then I will tell you how it is made. Kairimasen, kairanai, aimasen, awanai. Please see, wa is there. Kaimasen, kawanai, hakobimasen, hakobanai, migakimasen, migakanai. Hashirimasen, hashiranai, hanashimasen, hanasanai, kakimasen, kakanai, kikimasen, kikanai, and arimasen is just nai. So, well, you could just go over it once again. I will tell you how it is made. Ika nai, yoma nai, noma nai, awa nai. Now, how do you make these forms? Well, all you need to do is to remove the masen from there. See, iki masen, yomi. Masen, nomi, masen, ai, masen. All you need to do is to remove i masen and put anai. I masen and put anai. I masen, put anai, and ai masen, i masen again over here, and in this case it is one i. So, there are exceptions in group 1, which you have to keep in mind all the time and make your negative plane form accordingly. So, some of them are listed over here. You can practice them on your own at home and I am sure you will be very comfortable soon with the plane form. Now, how do you practice? Well, how do you use it? Tanaka san wa ega o minai. So, well, you could replace Tanaka san as we have done a number of times with any vocabulary that you have studied in class earlier and use it like this. You can put oka san, oto san, imoto, sensei, tomodachi, anybody in place of Tanaka san and then in place of ega, gohan, shimbun. Okane, tegami and tomodachi and then in place of verbs which is given over here, you can put tabenai, yomanai, agenai, kakanai, nenai and awanai. Any of these over here, they are all jumbled up. You can use them any which way you want. For example, tanaka san wa gohan o Tabenai. Tanaka san will not eat gohan or is not going to eat gohan. Then we have shimbun. Tanaka san wa shimbun o yomanai. Tanaka san wa okane o agenai. So, in this manner, you can use these verbs in nai form, which is the plain negative and make n number of sentences, practice with your partner and feel more comfortable. Well, now what we have to do is this form where you would like to know or tell what you want to do, which is the Thai form of the verb, which we are going to do right now. Gomen kudasai. Irashaimase. Nani o agemashou ka? Watashi no imoto no tanjoubi desu kara kaba no kaitai in desu. Okiak san, kore wa dou desu ka? Chotto okii desu. Chisai no arimasen ka? Ah, 
これはいかがですかあのー、赤いカバンありますかああよかったです赤いカバンもありますこのカバンはいくらですか五千円ですじゃあこのカバンをください So well, what did you understand? There are a lot of new things here, lot of phrases, lot of forms. I'm sure some of it is understood. Whatever is not, we'll try to do it right away in class. So the first one over here is "gomen kudasai." This is a new phrase for you. "Gomen kudasai" is knock knock. Is someone there? "Irashai masai" means welcome. Why we are using this is because we are here at a shop. Nani o agemashou ka? We have done this form. Well, kabano kaitai des. Well, this is a new form with a verb. How it is made, how it is used, we'll do it a little later. For the time being, this means I want to buy. O kyaksan, kore wa dou desu ka? How about this one? ちょっと大きいです。It's a little big. 小さいのありませんか ?Do you have a smaller one? あ,あ、これはいかがですか ?How about this one? あの、赤いカバンありますか ?Do you have a red bag? あ,あ、よかったです。赤いカバンもあります。Oh, that's really good for you. I have a red bag also. このカバンはいくらですか五千円です。じゃあ、このカバンをください。You have also done this phrase, so well, I'll explain in detail now. This is your script. You have kanji characters, you have hiragana written over here. Well, there is no katakana today, but well, I'm sure you are quite familiar and you can distinguish. The three now, and this is in English. What you would actually say in a situation like this, not a literal translation of what is given in the Kaiba. Well, the first expression that we did was Gomen Kudasai. Now, what does it mean? When you go to someone's house, when you go to a shop, or when you enter a room, what would you say? What would you do? Either you would say, excuse me, or you would knock over there and inquire as to, is someone around? Is someone there? So, well, that's exactly what it is. Gomen kudasai. Gomen kudasai. When you go to someone's house, you're looking for someone. Well, you just knock over there, knock, knock. Is someone around? Is someone there? Is whosoever's name is there, is around, is in the house? So, that's what you do. Gomen kudasai, and when you enter a shop, if no one is around, well, you say, Gomen kudasai, is someone around? So, well, let us see what he is doing. Now, what would someone in a shop say to you in Japan? Well, irashai mase is one expression which means welcome, welcome to the shop. And also, when someone comes to your house, You would say, Irashai. You are welcome. Please come inside. This is a common expression used in Japan to welcome someone. Over here, there is this lady, there is this gentleman. He is a customer. She is selling apples. So, what does she say now? After Irashai Mase, is Ringo wa ikaga desu ka? There was this expression in our conversation Ringo wa ikaga desu ka? You have done Do desu ka? How about whatever? The noun. So, this is a polite way of saying exactly that. How about some apples? Over here, as you can see, because this lady is talking to a customer, thus she is not using do desu ka, she is using ikaga desu ka. And she has a lot of apples. She is showing the price of the apples as well over here. And Let us see what he has to say now. And this man says, Mitsu ringo o kudasai. You have done this expression, o kudasai. This means, please give it to me or I am going to buy it. 
So Mitsu is three, you can see three fingers over here. So Mitsu Ringo O, Kodasai, please give me three apples. This is a very common expression, irashaimase, when you enter a shop. Now, as we were talking about gomen kudasai, you can see over here, you can knock like this, gomen kudasai, please may I enter your room or is someone around, is someone there wanting to know if someone is inside and the expression is gomen kudasai with a rising intonation always and only after you get a response from inside you enter. So, what is the response? Let us see. The response is dozo. Dozo is an expression which says permission is given for whatever the verb is saying. For example, if you are eating or if you are going out or leaving a place, then the teacher could say, you are leaving your classroom for example, the teacher could say dozo, meaning you are permitted to leave, permission has been granted or for example, if you are about to eat, okay, dozo meaning you are given permission to start eating or before an exam, dozo obviously it is for writing, you can start writing your exam. So, dozo can be used for anything for giving permission as is here this gentleman wants to enter and he is giving permission that ok you are allowed to enter now. Now I explained this verb agemas and moraimas to you in your previous class agemas and Morai mas. Very simply, I just introduced agemas and morai mas like any other verb, but this is very, very important. Why it is important is because in Japan, your relationship with the person whom you are talking to, where you are placed is extremely important. Whom you are talking to, for example, if you are talking to your friend, to someone who is your equal, you have different verbs. If you are talking to your teacher or to someone who is higher in rank or position or is older to you in age, also at that time you have to use a different verb. If you are receiving something from someone who is higher in rank or position or in age, then also you will use a different verb. So, for different situations, depending on your relationship with the person, depending on where you are placed the verb is going to change. We have two verbs over here, agemas and moraimas. Last time I just told you the verbs, this time I will tell you how to use them and what are the particles to be used and what is the meaning of those particles. Well, as is given over there, you can see a wa b ni age ru as is given over here you can see eva bini agiru eva bini agiru a direct direct relationship over here a gives to b now a, a is the subject over here eva bini agiru ni over here means to you have done ni in different ways, ni with time, ni with date, ni with presence of objects at a certain point. Now, today we will do ni as in to give meaning to in English, a wa b ni ageru, I, I, a as in I or you could have a as in Tanaka san, a as I, a as imoto, ototo, sensei, anybody wa b ni ageru to someone else, age mas. Now, another verb over here, again we could just change the verb here and use e wa b ni mo rau, e wa b ni mo rau. So, of course, b is over here like this, a receives from 
B. That is very, very important. A gives to B and A receives from B. The particle does not change in this case. This means from and in this case it is to. Particle remains the same, only the verb changes. In this case it is ageru, in this case it is mo rau or age mas and mo rai mas. This is very, very important. Please remember. It is given over here e wa b ni mo rau. Example is e wa b ni hon o age mashita. A gave a book to B and e wa b ni hon o morai mashita. A received a book from B. So, it is very simple. Ni is the particle to be used when you give or receive something from someone. Now, over here you can see it is even more clear. A wa b ni ageru. And what does A give to B? A wa b ni ageru. A gives to B. What does A give? You can see this object over here. What is it? A wa b ni candy o agemas. A gives a candy to B. Well, you have moraimas over here, and again we have the candy. What happens with the candy now? A receives from B. A wa b ni morau. So, A receives something which is a candy in this case from this gentleman B. A wa b ni candy o moraimas. I hope that now agemas and moraimas is clear to all of you and you will be able to use it freely in your sentences. You can also practice now. You can see A is giving something to B. So, what is he giving? Let us see. Watashi wa tomodachi ni presento o morai mashita. So, as we are practicing morai mas over here. So, well A is this person and B is this person. A wa B ni presento o morai mashita. So, A over here in this case is watashi. So, watashi wa B san ni presento o morai mashita or moratta. We have done past plain form of the verb in our previous lesson. So, well moratta can also be used. Now, we have another picture over here where Tanaka san is there with his family and he is giving something to his children. So, what is it? Kodomo wa otosan ni omiyage o morai mashita. Kodomo is kodomo tachi wa they are getting something from their father. So, ni over here is from. Of course, in these two cases you are getting something over here. What is this gentleman doing? Well, he is either ringing up or receiving a call. Let us see what it is. Goji ni tomodachi ni denwa o morai mashita. I received a call from my friend. So, it can also be for a call for a denwa. Now, we have agemas where again A is the subject. So, what do we do? We have a picture over here of these ladies having a birthday party as the cake is there. So, well watashi wa tomodachi ni presento o agemashita. So, watashi wa, watashi wa is or watashi tachi wa, these two wa tomodachi ni to presento o agemashita. I gave or we gave a present to our friend. 
this is a picture of shogatsu in Japan. So, let us see what it is. Shogatsu ni haha ni kimono o agemashita. In Japanese, the subject is left out when you are having a conversation. So, during conversation as subject is left out, watashiwa is not written over here. Shogatsu ni haha ni kimono o agemashita. I is understood over here. So, shogatsu is time ni. Again for time we use ni and haha ni over here for agemas which is two. Kimono is your dress something that you wear and of course, the traditional dress of Japan is kimono which is this. So, now we have another picture over here. This is a picture of this small girl going to school. So, this is entering school first time in April which is a very big event in Japan joining school that is and what do we have to say? Nyu gaku shiki ni kodomo ni kaban o agemashita. Kaban is bag o agemashita. Watashi wa nyu gaku shiki ni kodomo ni kaban o agemashita. So, well this is how you will use agemas and moraimas and ageta is as you can see over here is plain form for agemas. Now, there was something else also in your conversation which we will cover right now. This is a very nice form, the Thai form of the verb. It is very simple to make for group 1 and group 2, both group 3 as well. Ikimas, tabe mas. Yomimas, nomimas. Agemas. So well, this is a jumbled up group one and group two. Just remove mas from all and put tai instead. So verb plus tai means I want to do something and that something is whatever the verb is saying. So, well you can practice now, you can see over here it is very clear. Rao san wa nani o tabetai desu ka? Watashi wa indo ryori o tabetai. We can practice like this. Watashi wa ega o mitai. Group 2, mi mas, remove the mas and put tai over here. So, mitai, I want to see a film. I is over here. In place of this, you can put anything, tanaka, any name, imoto, mariko san, tanaka san, any of these. Tanaka san wa ega o mitai. Tanaka san wa gohan o tabe tai. Tanaka san wa picnic e iki tai. So, you can use it for, you can use it with anything like this and make sentences. You can use a cow over here in the end and have a small conversation, ask and the answer can be given as is given over here. Rao san wa nani o tabetai desu ka? Watashi wa indo ryori o tabetai. Indo is India and ryori is cuisine as you have already done. So, you have in place of rao san, sensei, oka san, tomodachi, imoto and then in place of Tabetai in blue as is given over here, you have mitai, shitai, yomitai and kaitai. And in place of indoryori, ega, yasumitai, shosetsu, kutsu. So, any of these you can use 
and talk to your friend, do simple conversation, ask and get an answer. Now, let us see what we have next. Well, there is a small practice. There are a lot of words all jumbled up, the sentences are not made. These are all jumbled up words over here and you have the verb form in Thai over here. You can make different combinations. You can add the vocabulary for Watashi or Tanaka-san or any of that. You can add any name you can put over there and then you can make a sentence Tanaka-san wa juice o nomitai. Tanaka-san wa mirko o nomitai. Tanaka-san wa fuku o kaitai. As is given over here, watashi wa gohan o tabetai. Watashi wa mirko o nomitai. Watashi wa shawa o abitai. I am sure this is interesting. You can make a lot of sentences, you can do a lot of conversation and you will feel comfortable with this form. It is a daily conversation form which you will use for, for talking to anybody inquiring about their daily schedule or inquiring about what they want to do. So, you could use this Thai form. Now, as we always do, we will do kanji over here today. Let us see what is the first character. Ageru. You have done this word ageru just now. Ageru. And you have also done this word ue. If you remember in one of your previous lessons, you have done this word ue. So, what is the character for ue? Well, 1, 2 and 3. The same character is for ageru, which means to give. So, 1, 2 and 3. The character has been done. You just need to use it for this word also. It is a 3 stroke character as we did earlier. Agemas to give. Well, there is another character over here, which is au, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, it is a 6 stroke character meaning to meet. Now, we will see how they have been made. So, you can see it is a Chinese character as we all know and in ancient China, just to just to show that it is on top, a small dot would be put as a pictogram and it meant it is on top. Later on, this developed into this. So, you can see over here, it is a three stroke character. That is how it has come into being, which means ageru or ue. And then, there is this character, au. It is a six stroke character and you can see from here with people over here, it means to gather or to collect. So, gather together like this under a roof and meet is what is the meaning of the character which is au over here. So, you have people meeting under a roof collecting like this and basically enjoying or talking or doing whatever. Now, as I had promised to you earlier and we have done one festival of Japan, I will again tell you today about something that happens in Japan during this period. So, it is a it is a festival, it is a nice festival, it is it is a colorful festival and it has lot of meaning and importance as well. Now, what is the festival? The festival is Hinamatsuri as you can see and there is lot of things written about Hinamatsuri. You can go on the net, you can check it out, 
there are interesting things about Hina Matsuri given on the net. There are a lot of pictures which I will show to you, the links are given, you can go and see them yourself. Well, this Hina Matsuri is a very, very popular festival. It is a special day which is celebrated in Japan on the 3rd of March every year. As you can see, it is written over here. It is a festival of color, it is a festival of gaiety, of merry making, enjoying with friends and family and it has a lot of meaning also. In olden times, in ancient times in Japan, this festival would represent the imperial court. The the king and the queen, the emperor and the empress would actually be celebrating this festival this day with their courtiers, their attendants, their friends, their family, their children and as I told you last time, this month of March is the Hanami month where the cherry blossoms bloom and the whole of Japan watches cherry blossoms and enjoys the spring uh, after a very, very harsh winter. So, in, in ancient times in the somewhere around the 8th century in the Heian period, this system, this custom started where the imperial uh, family, where the royal family would watch the cherry blossoms with their friends and their family and they would enjoy the spring season in this manner. Today in Japan, this festival, this watching of uh, um, Hanami, the watching of Sakura blossoms or the Ume blossoms, which began long, long back, is celebrated also as the girls day in Japan. And there are a lot of things that are done. It is lot of festivity, lot of gaiety, lot of merry making, partying. It is very colorful and what they do is they decorate these Hina dolls, these Japanese dolls and beautifully it depicts the royal court and I will show you the pictures right now. They have the, the king and the queen, the emperor and the empress on top with their attendants, with their, with their family members, with musicians, with the courtiers all nicely decorated on a platform and then lot of goodies are served, lot of uh, tasty things that are made on that day are served to them and they are enjoying the sakura season, enjoying it with their family and friends. This festival actually originated or started somewhere in ancient China long, long back and the reason why it actually started was that the Chinese would make paper dolls or uh, dolls made out of cloth and the reason why they were made was to actually transfer all ill fortune or all sins of the family or whatever bad was happening, whatever disease was there in the family into the dolls and then the dolls were taken out of the house and sort of immersed in some water body which could be a lake or a river or a pond or anything and they would take away all the ill fortune or the disease from the family and then good fortune would come to the family. So, that was basically uh, how the festival started. There are number of beliefs, number of customs that are followed and these dolls are displayed beautifully but the most interesting part that happens in uh, the belief or the custom that is there is that if you display the dolls after the 3rd of March as is believed in Japan and in China, the girls in the family get married a little late. So, generally after the 3rd of March all of this is removed and everything becomes normal so that things are all right in the family and naturally on this day they give their daughters, their girls, they wish them well and they give them lot of, lot of money, lot of clothes and always wish well for them. It is a nice festival because they celebrate girls on this day which is very, very important 
it is a girls day, it is a dolls day and it is celebrated all over Japan with lot of festivity and lot of color, happiness and merry making. So, well you can see over here, this is Hinamatsuri where the girls decorate everything and they serve whatever is being made at home to the emperor and empress. And this is how it is done, spread a nice red cloth or a carpet on this board which is specially made and erected and the king and the queen, the emperor and the empress sit on top. It is a court scene and they sit over here with their family, with courtiers, with musicians, all goodies, all food that is served to them and they enjoy the sakura season and the sakura you can see is right here and it is enjoyed by them. It can be simply done in a small, on a small scale, can just have these two and not the courtiers depending on how much you, how much space you have, how much you want to do and it could be done in a big way like this where everything is decorated and shown. This is a scene of a temple where on the steps they are decorated and displayed and you can see the sakura flowers over here and it can be done simply like this. Now in recent times we have the kitty character which is very popular. It is decorated as a ningyo, as a doll and with all these nice Japanese sweets, they are served and they are decorated in their houses in small places. Over here also you can see all Neko-chan is there, Neko-chan is the cats and they are for, they are considered very auspicious. This is a typical Hina Ningyo and these dolls are decorated with lot of color and lot of good clothes. So, this is about Hina Matsuri, you can look up the net, you can see there are lot of beliefs, I have just told you about one, there are lot of customs that are followed, you can see and you can learn more. Some words with kanji characters are there, Gakkai, Kokkai, Kaisha, Shakai, Nobori Densha, Toshi Ue. So, these words you can see, look up the meanings, the meanings are given of course, you can still look them up and see what it means. Then there is vocabulary, you can do this vocabulary at home and practice making sentences with this, with these words. Well, now my work finishes as always and you have your assignments, you have your shukudai which you need to do. As we do, you have to match group A with group B then tick the correct option over here, fill in the blanks with proper interrogative words you have to use verbs over here clues are given the words are given in english use those in japanese make sentences japanese sentences from here translate these into japanese And now you have this conversation here, please fill these three blocks with words, time expressions over here, you have verb forms over here and then you can put in your nouns accordingly. So, you can try this at home, do these assignments and these will help in conversation. So, well we will finish over here today and hope that you will do all of this at home properly and we will be able to do more in our next lesson. Well, till then, thank you very much, arigato gozaimasu and mata imashou.